Hey, it's 2024 and it's time for a robot update. So for the last couple of years I have been trying to make the robot more reliable and uh, now I think I've gotten the error rates down to a level that is acceptable enough to declare this project finished. So this graph is from January where you can see four days of operation without a single stop putting in 200 logs. So that's really cool and uh, it helps out a lot here. Before we used to do it manually, but uh, that was always a little bit of a hassle because you had to go up early in the morning to start a new fire and uh, you had to put in logs during the day to keep the fire going, but not too much because otherwise you would boil the system. Uh, but now you can uh, fill up the magazine whenever you want during the day and uh, after that the robot will keep on going for more than a day and just keep the temperature stable and everything works. After that you can chill in the sofa, see the robot working on the app. When uh, I decided to go for this design it was uh, highly unclear how well the system was going to work and uh, how well it would keep the temperature stable by feeding one log at a time of different sizes. Uh, but it has turned out to work really well. Also, it was quite unclear how reliable the gripper and the magazine setup would work. Uh, but that also has turned out to work really well. The robot keeps its orientation by using this system of multiple switches that can give information about what direction to initiate homing or if a position is reached or not. And it has turned out to be quite reliable and uh, easy to maintain. though. In the next time I probably go for whole sensor or the same system with more redundancy uh, to increase the reliability even more. The robot is slow and non-rigid, which I think is to an advantage because it feels safe to be around a slow moving non-rigid robot and there is no need to feed any faster. It's also easier to build and repair when there is no need for high precision or high cost materials. The robot has experienced a lot of bends and crashes without getting damaged. And even though the robot is a little bit unprecise, it's still possible to get a reliable outcome by allowing a certain amount of flexibility in the code. Here is a brief overview of the code. In the main loop we have this function pointer, which points to one of these functions. Each function contains an operation like deciding on what magazine to pick from, or a movement, like go down until you find a log, or drop a log. I think the main advantage of having this uh, function pointer system is that it's easy to jump from uh, different parts of the program to another. For example, you start up the robot and you have a log inside the gripper. You can go directly to size test and continue from there on. In this function up boiler, for example, we move up to the boiler entrance before feeding. And first we send serial data to the ESP. The ESP will then update the JSON string. So when the phone make a request, it can update the information that the uh, robot is uh, on the way up to the boiler entrance. And then we have the execution part. And also we have an uh, error handler if it fails to execute correctly. So in the execution part, we move the z-axis a maximum of 60,000 steps upwards, as long as it's in zone 2. And then we have a check to see if it reached zone 1, and we also check if it's still got a log inside the gripper. If it's all good, the program continues. If it's uh, not, for example it didn't reach zone 1, it will throw an error, error 1 here. So we go to error 1, here we try to home z-axis once more and if it's okay we can continue program but if it didn't reach zone 1 we go to the function after 23 that would be down boiler if for example uh, inside a movement function like this um, if someone pushes the stop button or if it crashes it will exit here and put the variable stop true. So after the function has run, 
and uh, the stop variable is true it will uh, jump to function number zero and here we will send the information that it's stopped and basically just wait until someone restarts the robot now that's all and the future for this project will be just to keep on running the robot and uh, when things break down I will improve and replace so that's the future and it's also the end of this video so see you in another project